Jeremy Lin will forever be linked with the term Lin Sanity. One phrase that describes a stretch four years ago in which Lin electrified NBA arenas and became a cultural phenomenon while he was playing for the Knicks. Now he calls Brooklyn home and his time with the Nets marks the latest chapter in his lifelong love affair with basketball. I can't really remember any point in time where I wasn't in love with the game. Um, when I was in high school, I never thought I would play. I could play in, in college until my high school coach, you know, beginning of my junior year, basically said like, "Hey, I, I, I think you should consider at least going for it." Um, you know, and back then I was really raw, really skinny and, and short, and again I had zero hype around me, so um, there was no calls. It was me going to all these schools asking them to give me a chance, and then when I played in college, it was the same thing. I never really thought I would legitimately be an NBA player or a professional player. Um, you know, my first year, I averaged like three, four points a game. Um, and it wasn't until my senior year when I had like a, a really good year and a few breakout games that um, people started to take notice. And, and I started to even believe in myself. Like, and I think I might be able to play as a pro one day. I, I didn't even get a scholarship uh, to go play at any college. Um, and I couldn't get D3 schools to look at me. So. Um, for me, it was just such a different path, and then on the, you know, you add the Asian immigrant family onto it, and it's just not a, it's not a path that is normally um, talked about. You know, a lot of these NBA guys, they kind of know what the general path is. Um, we didn't really even know what AAU was until, you know, and things like that. We didn't really understand the the appropriate channels or the path to take to become a professional basketball player. Lynn splits defenders, lays it in, and a foul! Where did this come from? Jeremy Lynn having the game of his life. Tonight, Jeremy Lynn took over the game. I really appreciate that moment, and I feel like as I get older, I solidify what that experience meant to me more and more internally. Um, but I feel like when people will throw that nickname around or when they refer to me as that or whatever, I feel like um, in some ways it does dehumanize me or it makes me more like, uh, you know, I, I'm not Jeremy anymore. I'm not, you know, who I feel like I am. It's just they refer to me as this phenomenon or this two week stretch or this six week stretch or however much of time, whatever experience or whatever perspective they took away from it, that's what they define me as. And so um, I feel like that used to affect me a lot and now it doesn't really bother me as much. Um, now I know what it means to me. I appreciate everything that I took away from it. And when other people call me that or talk about it, um, I'm not really, you know, I don't, I, I don't feel slighted in it. Accelerates to the rim, Jeremy Lin, a blur. Lin. Oh, that's a beautiful fake. Jeremy Lin with the pretty dude. Jeremy Lin, the drive and the finish. You gotta have tough skin to succeed in New York. And it comes down to really um, how bad you want it, how much you're willing to go through to get what you want. And I think, you know, me coming here and being able to kind of have a blank slate in terms of team culture, that's the one thing I can really say is I can't always guarantee that we're going to win X number of games, or we're going to do this, or we're going to do that. But I know that no matter what happens, it's not going to be because of lack of effort. It's not going to be because we don't care enough. It's not because of all these other things that um, maybe might hamper other players or teams. Like, I want to make sure that this team or that my career or that this season, um, no matter what happens, it won't be because of these certain things. Um, that's kind of my, uh, my take on what I want to accomplish or the, the imprint that I want to have on my teammates or, or, or this organization.